All right, and welcome back to another exciting installment of Mind Test Gameplay of Sorts. Yes, and today we are going to be talking about the laptop mod and its associated add ons. So let's go. And if you like what you see here, please consider liking and subscribing. It's greatly appreciated. So, what we have, uh, real quickly, on the barbecue mod, um, we have some some fixes, and I'm going to highlight those real quickly so we can get on with the uh, with the show here. I need some apple wood for the smoker because apple wood flavored smoked beef brisket. Yeah, and look at that; it's working. We got the smoke in the right place. We got the legs. Graphic looks fantastic. It's fixed. Um, yeah. And Mr. Grizzly Adam had updated the uh, the propane grill. So I wanted a version. You know, I, I said I would like to have a version that was without the wings so I can incorporate it in a build, which I did here in my little counter over here. So now there are two... Um, there are two, you have the propane grill and the regular one. There's the regular one and the one with the wings, which looks great on its own. So now, that, now you have both, you have both. So the thing about the wood pile, the wood pile wasn't taking um, any wood from more trees and now it is. And he, he wrote back, it's, see, it's good to be in the mind test community. <laughs> like I have, like I have, a, a, you know, power over, um, it says here that he, and this is him, uh, I went ahead and made anything, made it so anything can be placed in a wood pile. Of course, only wood should be placed in a wood pile. Huh? you are on your honor system. Anyway, this will solve the issue of not being able to put it in woods from unsupported mods. Yes, as you can see, more trees, uh, apple is in there. And it'll take anything, and you really shouldn't, but, um, well, um, <laughs> we won't tell. We won't, we won't tell. <laughs> yeah, so let's go take a look at um, the laptop computer mod, because this is really, really cool. And to do that, all the links to all the mods that I have used and the new ones are in the show descriptions of every video. So just click the, uh, view more and you can find it there. So this mod is, uh, from gaming association 39. He's online. We should go bother him. Uh, <laughs> This laptop mod is a group collaboration between Bell07, Toby109TT, VNext, Crossover, VRob, who I use as other computers, Grizzly Adam, hello, uh, and yeah, and Gaming Association. The um, so what this what this mod does is it gives you a lot of real cool computers. Period model computers, old computers. And for the terminal lovers, these computers do something. They actually have apps. They have a uh, chess game, uh, TNT sweeper, Tetris, email, calculators. They ha and I'm going to be showing that. Yeah. So for the people that are the, uh, the terminal lovers, Michael Beck, the terminal lovers, here you go. Here's your terminal. Of course, it does represent DOS, but nevertheless, it's a terminal. And for the GUI lovers, me. We have a, we have a GUI. There is a beta version and a regular version. Yes. And there are add-ons, which I, I had found. And these add-ons, the links will also be in here. That's the actual laptop one. Um... Here is the media pack add-on, and 
Oh, that's V Rob's. There's a media pack add on which adds like floppy disk, CD, cassette, different types of old school media. Yeah. And um, yeah. So there's a lot of stuff in this mod. Um, a lot. So I'm not really going to, I'm, I'm going to show some of the crafting recipes. And there's also the add ons, which I will show. And those add some real cool stuff to it. So that's where that. That's where that is. Yeah, and there's an API. There's a lot of stuff you can do with it. Now, for the terminal side, I know I'm bouncing around here. There's even an operating manual for for the 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 command the you know command line style computers without the GUI, and you can do a lot of um, a lot of DOS like commands. And some of these, you know, Linux, whatever terminal that you're using, these these commands are very similar. Except you don't have A, B, or C to change to the floppy drive, C, D, F, D, D. And I'm, I'm going to show that. So that is going to be really, really cool. So let's uh, head out to the biodome where the museum is because we are going to create a computer museum. All right, and we're out, we're out here at the Biodome, where the Museum and Learning Center is. Yes, we are. And I use a lot of computers um, from, these, are, these computers here are from Home Decor. I also use the laptop from Home Decor. And my latest ones that I found are from VROB, which I didn't show the tab. However, the... Uh, yeah, these are all those. I'll, I'll show that one. But those are the ones that I use where I modified the one monitor. I took out the keyboard just to so I could use it. Now, I've, I've shot this video like three times. <laughs> so I, I added this bathroom to the learning center. Very cool. Because they, they need a bathroom. And I took out the fish tanks and I took out everything else. So what we are going to do is I am going to build... A real quick shelf because we need we need a place to show these computers off and let's see what are we going to use i wanted i just need a block because we're going to do something really really cool here i'm going to use these grates as shelving so we are going to create shelving across here to hold all of our cool computers and these are just these are just helper blocks because i'm not going to sit here with the screwdriver for 25 minutes as i add my shelving and this is going to look cool i guarantee I'm not going to lie guarantee all right so now we take out we take that out and we go into the laptop mod. And what's really cool here. Uh, there are lots of different, we're going to go over some of the, so to create a computer, if you're in survival, you're going to need dies. You're going to need the power supply unit. You're going to need the processor, the case the motherboard, the hard drive, and that will create your Bell crossover computer, that one over here. So all, of the, all that stuff is in there. Why did I do that? All that stuff is in there. So we're going to do it the Richard Jeffries way, because I'm lazy, and we are going to grab all of these computers, and we are going to put them on display. And I think I got them all. That's my favorite one right there. <laughs> this one's kind of cool. There's a there's a little word processor type. Um, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so this one is the Cube PC, and this one is Amstrom Forty Five. Now, obviously, uh, the, they they changed a lot of stuff, so you know copyright. You can't do that. This is a war 5,000. 
just the name alone says I'm I'm cool. That looks like an apple. That's a bell tower though. And there isn't there is one this one looks like the Apple OS 4.5. I'm I'm going to guess that that one's a Mac. And then we have the Cube Cube C3. And what else did I fail to put in? The Fruit Spirit. And of course we have a printer and a Benson data writer. Okay, we are missing, we are missing some here. So we, what we're going to do is I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put uh, one, one on the floor because my favorite computer is not in here. Let's see if we put, if we go ahead, what is that one? Oh, the bell crossover, I didn't put that one in either. Hmm, let's do this. We're just, we're just going to do this because I do have, I want to create, I'll probably come in back and fix that. So this one is the bell crossover. What am I forgetting? Oh, the mine two. No, I did, I did have that one. Oh, the regal writer, which is really cool. And then there's an MBI scholastic. We're going to need some of this. Um, I'm not really too fond of the pink one, so I'm not going to show it. Ooh, punch card. That's old. Portable, portable workstation two. Hmm. Somehow I missed that one. So let's make sure I got everything here. Um, I got the USB stick. Which this, this, I kid you not, man. This is going to be cool. All right. So, um, and I got to stop saying cool. Cool. And we have disk disk storage, which I wanna I haven't checked that out yet. So let's look at this one's the Regal Writer. And then that's one of my favorites. We're gonna put that there. Uh, I'm missing one. Portable works. Ooh, that looks nice. Uh portable workstation. And then what is this? Very nice. You could store your, you could store stuff in there. And then real quickly, not, not, well, it's, I want to make sure I got everything. That's the bell tower. I got the bell tower, the OS 45. Um, I think I got everything. Oh, and yeah, I have, so let's put in what I'm currently using. So if I type in computer, you have the home decor stuff, and then you have the monitor um, and the computer tower. But I don't have any room for that right now. So some of these are from, what is that? She Friend SSO. We'll look at that. And the Pony Vanio, which is supposed to be a Sony Vio. We get it. it it's because of, it's because of copyright infringement. So what is this? I don't know where this came from. I don't get it. Not sure, not sure where that came from. Let's see, what is that from? That is from computer, computer mod. All right, so we are going to, and there's the one from uh, VROB that I, I use and I, and I have modified this I have taken his graphic and I cut, I took out the keyboard and re, uh, re, um, exported the object and added it as monitor one. So I could have dual monitor setups and monitor and monitor one. And I played with the code a little bit. And this is the great thing about open source. And I was going to, I forgot to send them an email on that to give them that idea. So there's, there's the original one. From from V Rod, V Rod, V Rod, and that is not the one I picked. I picked Monitor One, Monitor One. There we go. So all I did is I added lines, I added lines of code in there. So now you got a dual monitor setup, and I think that's really cool. And I also use that as like a small TV. 
So let's go play with some of this stuff because some of this stuff you have to do some work. Yes, you do. You need the floppy. Um, so we are, we will take that. I don't know if a computer takes a punch card. So what you do is you walk up to the computer, you left click on it, it turns on. You, you left click on it, it turns on. You right click on it. Oh my God, is that a busy, is that a busy um, wallpaper? So you can go into settings and you can change it. And hit the X and look at that. And you can play chess. You have a calculator. This works. Three plus three is six. Yeah. We have a calculator. We have a TNT sweeper. We want a small one. Oh, I already lost. Already lost. Not good. We have rem the removable storage notepad Tetris. Now over here, I also have a, this is from um, uh, Home Decor. The Tetris machine, but it's it, it might be some it's it's bundled in with the Dream Builder mod pack. But this is cool because this is all retro and modern. So you have your modern operating system. You have your prompt, your command line. So if we type in version V E R, it's the Cardiff Soft Basic Operating System. And if we type help, it's going to give us a list of commands. Yeah. So what we can also do is we can hit exit and we go back to there. There's also a mail program, no mail program. Yes, I want to create an account. Cool, I have a mail account. Am I going to get spam now? Huh. Okay, so that's this one. So let's go over to this one, turn it on. This one just gives you the amber. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I started my, my computer career with this kind of monitor. I first had the amber uh, monochrome display and then the, the green monochrome display, display. So let's type DIR for directory. And we have all this other cool stuff here. Um, oh, you can run a shell, huh? Look at that. We do have a shell. We have, rem we have remote storage. Now, I need to make a, I take a floppy disk and I wanna make a bootable disk. So I clicked on this, create bootable disk, renamed it. And now, so when we go in uh, removable storage, we have, oh, Duh. Let's go back out and let's um, go back into the prompt here. DIR. So we're doing that. We're going to change directory, floppy drive, current disk, floppy drive. Very cool. That's how that works. And so what I can do is error not implemented. Oh, okay. Let's go into the notepad. So since I am lazy, we're going to go notepad. I know you command line people, this is just burning you, isn't it? Isn't it? So we're going to test the applications. We're going to save it. We're going to save it on the floppy disk as RGS test. Save. It's there. We can also print it. However, I don't have the printers online yet. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna escape out of there. And so when we go to load, there's my file. This stuff actually works. Is that cool or what? So we're gonna exit that app and we are going to go back into, um, the shell because I need my disc. I need my disc. So this disc has, this is a boot disc now. So we're gonna turn that off. Cause you know, those old computers, they just use a lot of power. And this one's the same. It does the same thing. 
I already have no mail. It already remembered me. Um, the chess game actually works. So if I go here, and he's going to take me, and go there, it's going to take. So yeah, the chess, <laughs> the chess game actually works. Very cool. I am liking this. So, I what do I need that? Well, let's go look at these computers real quick. Here's another one, 128K RAM. Wow, that is not a lot. That reminds me of my um my very first Tandy. Uh no, my Texas Instrument TI-994A with 64K RAM. And then I had a Tandy 1000 EX, which came with 128, and then you could upgrade it to 640. Hmm. Let's see what this one is. And you can go into settings, and you can change your wallpaper to whatever you like. There's a lot of different ones. Freedom. Cool. Applied. Go out. Has, all of them have the, basically all of them have the same, you know, operating system this is another old style system but anything that you you can imagine using these computers for i need to find the punch card one uh obviously this one oh it is going to work with a shell launched shell i wonder since it has a since it has that i wonder where the punch card punch card very cool. <laughs> Data punch card. Data punch card. Okay. That's how you... Now, that punch cards are a little bit before my time. So, uh, yeah, there was, some compu there was some computers that you needed the punch cards to operate. These printers are absolutely awesome. I'm going to turn them on, bring them online. Now, what you need for the computer is you need paper and you need dye. So we are going to grab a couple reams of paper and oh I didn't put that out. Okay. I will I will do that. We need a couple reams of paper and we need some dye. So for the printer you go into the paper tray, you click on paper tray, and you take your paper and you put it in there, and it says we have 99 papers. You click on die tray, and we take our die, put it in there. Now this printer is, is usable. We're going to do the same thing with this other printer, paper tray, die tray. Uh, put the die in there, go back to the output. There's nothing in the output tray. This is where it gets real cool. So now we need to... We need to see, we are going to take removable storage. I don't know if, we're gonna put the USB drive in here. And this is going to be a data one. So there, and we're gonna go back in and we're gonna to go to, we're gonna go to the notepad. This is a new note. We're gonna save it real quick. We're gonna save it to the USB and give it a real cool name. New note. Okay, so we're gonna print this. No printer found. Search for printers. There's a search key. Hey, look at that. Now I did find it. I couldn't find any word that says how far away this is. Uh, the the computer can be from the printer, but in my base. I have two computers and I have one printer and the printer, the computer out on the floor about 10 blocks away will not find the printers, but the computers that are right near that printer, they'll work. As you can see here, I have flash printx and the Benson data writer. So the heading is new note. This is a new note print. Very cool. This is a new note two. And we're going to print this one to the Benson data writer, new note two. Yeah, and print. Very nice. We're not gonna save it, but I am gonna take my, 
USB drive out. I wonder if I can put the CD in. We're going to make this a data CD. So if we go in here and we go back into uh, our prompt, man, this is an old system too. Um, I don't have these commands memorized yet. How do you access the CD? Let's try CD, CD. <laughs> Syntax error. I'll have to look that up. Um, oh, text color. Cool. Text color green. There, look at that. Date. Time. Version. Oh. Mem. Look at that. Now, that's wrong. It says I have 640 conventional. Because... Um... Oh, the shell doesn't work on this one. Ah. Uh, okay. Wait, did I? Oh. Duh. Because I'm already in there. I'll take my CD back. Thank you very much. So that's how that works. So let's, oh, look at that. We have, we have, it, it already printed. So we take, we take our paper out. And I'm getting, so now there's nothing in the output tray. Let's go over to this one, look at it. Hey, look at that. There's paper, new note two. There's paper in the paper tray. And these are online with the green light so that now it's off. Now it's on. This one, however, you have to bring online. So we turn it back on, you see the red light. That means it's offline. And now it changes to green and it's online. So those are online. So let's take a look at, this is my favorite computer by far and uh hmm what did i want to do removable storage i want to put this one in here this one won't go in this one oh it doesn't have a cd rom okay oh this one's cool this is what i made the boot disk for look at that it's one of those little portable computers i mean this thing is old looking it's old school so let's go in here. We turn it on. Please insert boot disk. Okay. And now... Okay, I did. I, I, I put in the boot disk. Perform proper boot. Please insert boot disk to perform proper boot. There we go. There we go. Um... Uh, yeah, it's not showing correctly there. I uh, don't think that... Oh, this one has a shell, too. And it has the actual date and time. Not the mind test date and time. This has the actual date and time. Very cool. Removable storage. We have the boot disk in there. Okay. So that, that works. Everything is working on these. And... Yeah... I wanted one with a cassette. That's not a cassette. That's for the big floppy. I'm going to guess that removable storage for this one. Where is it? Oh, th this is going to be for the... Yep, there we go. Double density. This is for the big, this is for the big floppy one. We're going to make that data. So these all have stuff on it. I don't see a cassette player. However, let's put the cassette in here. And the big floppy and the CD and the punch card. Cool, look at that. It fit in there. Oh, you, let's look at the papers. This is cool. You left click on, the, you go over to paper and you click. This is a new note, too. Cool. This is a new note. Very nice. And what you can do with said papers is we need a file cabinet. Where am I going to put a file cabinet? I'm running out of room. Hmm. Well, let's, let's just try something here.
Huh. There's no file cabinet. Um, what else are they called? I know in, I know desk has. All right, there's a desk. Unlocked. I thought there was a file cabinet. Especially in home decor. Let's look at that real quickly here. Because there's a nightstand. Lots of stuff to do here. There, there's a wardrobe. Huh. There's something I have to check because now all of a sudden, nightstand. There was a there was an actual um there it is, it's right there. Filing. Why can't I spell? So if you put that there and you can take your paper and you can put it in there and you can file stuff. Isn't that cool? So now we need to put this somewhere. Hmm. Where do I want to put it? You know what I'm going to do? Don't mind the, don't mind the, um, oh, I could have just done that. Not cool. Now I got to sit here and do this with the screwdriver. No big deal. First world problems. There we go. So that's how that all works. And it, this is very quick. Um, yeah. Way cool. What is that one? Oh, testing the printer. Way cool. This was yesterday. Oh, no, it was today. Oh, but it was at 1.32 a.m. So we're going to file that away too. So there, that's how, um, that's how this all works. Uh, what else did I want to show? That was a disc, oop. put some disc storage there. And this one hangs over. So we don't want to do anything. I'm going to beautify this area up a little bit because this is, this is my um, area for the learning center. It's not where I want to put it. I want to put it over here. So this, everything, flowers make everything look good. Look at that. Look at the flowers. And I should move that, I should move that machine up. I'm going to beautify this because I want to actually make this into a, a counter instead of uh, solid blocks. But... That's how that works. Oh, there it is. How'd you get up there? I should have put that. You know what? Let's just look at this one real quick. <laughs> there. Okay, we're just going to look at it on the floor then. This is the 4K blue one. Very nice. Look at that. And V-Rob, um, that's his wallpaper from, where's the, oh, I took it out, didn't I? No, it's right here. So if you click on that, you can notice, hey, there's the same wallpaper. I really do like that computer. The computer and home decor is, um... Computer, here's a Sony, the Sony one, and there was a desktop. Where's the desktop? Right there. So, this was the Sony, the Sony one, you, you hit, the, the pony one. So you have on off, and then the other one from home decor, which there's nothing wrong with. It just has a simple on off with mind test web page. Very good looking. All the computers look really good. Um, I really do like, uh, this is, that's my, that's not the one. So these are, these are very, very cool, uh, laptops and <sighs> laptops and computers. So this is our, this is going to be our computer, just computer museum area. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on this to make this, this a little better. This looks like it takes the big floppy drives. Yeah. 
but it's it's going to be really something to see how much more if anybody does um, uh, develop any kind of other programs for this because I mean we already have Tetris so you can play a game. I saw I read in the comments somebody wanted to put um, a two D version of Mind Test so you could play Mind Test while you're in Mind Test. Hmm, where have I heard that before? <laughs> I'm playing Mind Test while in Mind Test playing Mind Test. Yes, that's I'm copywriting that idea. Unfortunately, this is open source, so it's got to be GPL. <laughs> yeah, so there you have it. You have a look at all the different computers, and they're pe they, you know they are they really are period correct. I mean, I had I had a dot matrix printer that was that color. Um, these are some later models that were in white, but mostly you had these beige boxes. If you look back at your IBM PCs and stuff like that, and I'm sure there's a lot of people in the forums in the, in here that can really, um, you know, tell about their times. I mean, I started out on DOS, DOS version 2.0, and then there was Dr. DOS, there was IBM DOS, there was, I, uh, OS2 Warp 4 I've used. Um, I used cult, my first intro to Linux in 1994 or earlier was Caldera Linux. And then I actually bought a boxed version of Mandrake. And that was cool. Let me tell you, that was cool. It, I would have really loved to see that came up when, um, Windows 95 was out. I did, I'm just pulling this from memory. And... That uh, the only reason why I didn't go full time Linux back then was first uh, I worked with a guy that pirated everything under the sun, so I had crack codes for everything. Not proud of it, but as a starving, <laughs> as a starving IT guy, I couldn't afford all the office software and everything else. Plus, I had my work allowed me to uh, have Microsoft Office and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. But the only thing that kept me from running Linux full time back then was I couldn't get this this weird sound blaster sound card. Now everything just clicks, but I, I could only get one channel to work, or it was just really really weird. And not a lot of like printers were. Um, that's when uh, the inkjets were coming out, and it didn't support everything like it does now. And back then, HP didn't have, you know, they didn't care about Linux back then. So, yeah, they had Unix stuff, but, you know, not Linux. So, there you have it. I've rambled on long enough. This is a very, very cool mod. And I can take my USB stick that I put in a different computer, go into Notepad, and guess what you are going to find on there? There's that, there's that note. So no matter where I take this USB stick, I wonder if you can, okay, it's mounted. I wonder if you can unmount it. Hmm. What did I do? Oh, load. Oh, there's no unmount button. That's what it was. So there you have it. This is a very, very cool mod. I will be using this um, for a long time, and I've already have it. I already have it over at my uh, secret squirrel base in the mine because I'm using one of the older style computers to uh, operate the mine system. Oh, look at that! This flashes. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so it has a little bit of everything for everybody. It has command line. It has nostalgia. It has uh, Tetris and chess, and you can play a full game of chess on there. And whatever you want to do. So there you have it. That is the, the laptop and the add-ons. So you have, you have the laptop mod, which is all this, and all the supplies to um, build said computer. You see there's a GPU card in here. So if we go back to the crafting guide, we put that one in. That's how you craft that. 
Oh, L <clears throat> LCD screen die. I didn't see one with the uh, with the video card, the GPU, PSU processor. We have a green CRT screen, hard drive. And my first computer, my first computer had oh, computer fan. <laughs> That's obviously for one of the uh, the bigger units. Let's see if I can find the one that needs a computer fan. Huh. It's there. And it takes wrought iron to make for the fan. But that's how um, battery for the, the computer, the old CMOS batteries, CPU core, GPU. That's how you make a GPU, a Lua controller, or a, yeah, controller. And then um, you have the PC add-ons. And not these. <clears throat> there was a, real quickly also, there was a comment in one of my videos that said, uh, talking about the mobs. And I said, I don't use mobs. Because they, they, the, the person was talking about uh, the mobs when uh, eating the zombie. Let's see, where is it at? I just I just thought about I just thought about this and it would be Legend Dan and he he put in there he, he asked a question about the mobs and I had, oh the warthogs and he said uh oh he's talking about mob framework and I said I don't use mobs uh, I just have the animals and he said well I saw mobs in your video like, what's up, dude? I see mobs in your video. And I said, well, I don't... Can, uh, and he, also got, he also had a real cool uh, tip also. So real quickly, this is the computer mod. Yes, we'll go from there. And to end the video on a tip, I always thought that the warthog... Um, the warthog could not be tamed because I used 10 plus 1's mob redo. And it turns out that when the warthog is actually called a puma, so I'm not sure if I have a different. Let me see if I can find a warthog real quick. Usually they're around. There's like 50 around. And he, he wrote in the comments that you can tame them with apples. And I didn't, I didn't think you, you know, I, okay, I'll try it. because I'm not going to doubt it. And it turns out that, yes, you can. Let's see. Warthog. Okay. Give me give me the warthog. Give it to me. Thank you. There you are. Hi, Mr. Warthog. And uh, let's see if you are tamed. You, the, I know it tames because I done did it. But I did I was trying to feed it raw meat. And oh, stand still. I'm trying to tame you. Puma at full health, and they got the hearts. So he is tamed. I tamed me a, a puma, a warthog. Very nice. And of course, the horse takes apples. And now the, I'm trying to tame the horse. The horse does not want to be tamed. Okay. Eat the apples. Somebody should make a mod where they'll eat the apples. Hi, how you doing? Thanks. Bye. You're making me lag. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there you have it. That is a look at the the additions to the barbecue mod, the, the addition uh, and, and the fixes and repairs to the barbecue mod. And those links are in the description. The addition of the washroom to the biodome, and now the newly created computer museum. And I'm going to fix these tables. And add some more tables over here. Because I don't know how good this will look. That's fine. Let's put this computer there. There we go. So, that's going to do it. I've rambled on long enough. The printers work. As, of course, um, there, all the links are in the description. And the instructions on how to use these mods are, are on each mod. So, uh... Gaming Association 39, thank you for reaching out. Um, 
This mod is very, very cool. And you and your team of collaborators, uh, kudos. <laughs> this is this is fantastic and a lot of fun. So uh, thanks again. And um, yeah, and Grizzly Adam for updating the barbecue mod. And there is, there is a little quirk in the barbecue mod and the initial init Lua. I have to leave them a note that the, get the propane gas pro wasn't enabled, but I enabled it and it works and that mod works cool. So, uh, guys, thank you very, very much. And we will go from there. So until the next exciting mind test video gameplay, <laughs> goodbye.